President Obama touched down here last night, kicking off a dizzying week of summit meetings. The president's trip was marked by an awkward opening moment, in fact, when he was forced to exit the belly of Air Force One. Some observers described it as a Chinese snub. Margaret Brennan in Hangzhou, China, looks at the increasingly tense relationship now between Washington and Beijing. Margaret, good morning. Good morning. Well, China is tightly controlling this G20 summit, and they've placed lots of restrictions on the news media. And ironically, that has made even small disagreements between the U.S. and China more public. Every head of state visiting China for the G20 summit was greeted with pomp and circumstance the moment their plane doors opened. But President Obama's arrival did not go smoothly. As he stepped off Air Force One, the red carpeted stairs were missing, forcing President Obama to use an alternate exit typically reserved for war zones. On the tarmac, a Chinese minder tried to block U.S. press access, screaming at a White House aide, this is our country, this is our airport. Then he yelled at National Security Advisor Susan Rice and tried to prevent her from entering the president's motorcade. The Secret Service had to intervene. Rice told a reporter they did things that weren't anticipated. It was a sharp contrast to Chinese President Xi Jinping's visit to Washington last September when Vice President Joe Biden greeted him at the plane door. I went over a crank the uh, significance of it. President Obama downplayed the incident, saying his sizable entourage can be overwhelming for host nations. President Trump in China tonight. He's there to talk trade and the North Korean nuclear threat. In China, a lavish red carpet welcome for President Trump, complete with honor guards. On the motorcade route, excited school children waving American and Chinese flags. President Xi and his wife as their guides, the first couple toured the Forbidden City, looking almost like old friends. Of course, Donald Trump hasn't always been so friendly towards China. We can't continue to allow China to rape our country. They're taking our business. They're taking our jobs. China is wonderful. But they're getting away with murder. Beyond today's smiles, though, challenges on trade, of course, and North Korea. The president demanding that China cut off Kim Jong-un unless he gives up his nuclear program. Trump and First Lady Melania arrive in China, now in Beijing. They're on their third leg of their tour of Asia after stops in Japan and South Korea. Before leaving South Korea, Mr. Trump sent a pointed message to the leader of North Korea, basically, do not underestimate the United States, do not even try. History is filled with discarded regimes that have foolishly tested America's resolve. 
Take a look at this scene from inside the press chopper as it flies alongside Marine One. The group was headed for the demilitarized zone between North and South Korea. President Trump planned a surprise secret visit there, but the choppers had to turn around due to bad weather.